We begin with an inside look at a home explosion on Detroit's west side. 7 Action's reporter Brian Abel talked to a woman who was trapped inside that home. She describes the moment she was knocked off her couch and her fight to stay alive. I'm just like, oh my God, I'm finna die in this house. Then I felt the gush of heat that like took my breath away. Jeffrey Clark was on the left side of this duplex when it exploded Saturday night, sending six people to the hospital, including her. I just heard a boom, but when I heard the boom, it threw me across the living room floor and the house started to shake. Dizzy, my hearing is going in and out. You could hear the, the, the walls cracking and she says the house started falling on her. She was trapped under the rubble until that wave of heat snapped her out of the fog of confusion and she found the strength to get out. The whole ceiling came down on me when she made it outside a nightmarish sight. It was a guy rolling on the ground. His hair was on fire. His skin was on fire, his clothes. It was another guy that was projected from the house. And it was two other young ladies and their skin was like peeled off. Today, investigators from a joint Detroit Fire, DPD and ATF task force, along with DTE, still piecing together what happened. The Detroit Fire Department saying it appears to have been a gas leak. Clark looking at her former home and thinking about her young boy, just thankful and surprised to be alive. Just was thinking about not only would this would have been his birthday month, but this would have been a month that he he could have been celebrating his mom's death. In Detroit, Brian Abel, 7 Action News. All right, Brian, thank you.